go! Adam Saxon here with Guy in a Cube. I am joined by Mr. Buck Woody, the famous, the infamous. I think infamous, infamous. is closer. All right. We are going to take a look at a little data science, a little Power BI, yep. and maybe how they can be better together. Stay tuned. If you're finding us for the first time, be sure to hit that subscribe button to stay up to date on all the videos from both Patrick and myself. And with that, Buck. How you doing, man? Good, how are you? How long have we been trying to get together to do this? We've been trying to do, to do this. this for a while. Yeah, because yeah. you know what? I, I'm still telling you, you've got to learn advanced statistics. It's just, it's something you've got to learn I, to do. I am not a math guy. No, come on. And in, in fact, uh, I went through the statistics thing and support. Right. I started reading, they went through all of the different things, right. and I get to something that says something about stochastic. Yeah, and yeah, of course. I've, I'm like, I, I got to go look that up. I'm. I was lost. I'm going to show you how easy it is to do statistics over a All set right. of data and derive some meaning from that. Oh, what that do you sound, think? That sounds wonderful. Yeah, that sounds great. delightful. Yeah. Okay. Awesome. Okay. You so you ready to get started? Yeah. We what we need Notepad, right? That's uh, all we do. Uh, yes, Notepad is fine, but okay. let's use a little tool we call R. 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 Like okay. the pirate language. I don't have my patch. So, Normally, I wear a patch yeah. when I talk about R. Microsoft okay. has a, a copy of the open source R that we maintain and it's Microsoft R open. It's got some slight improvements over the regular R, and then of course, the Microsoft R we have built into the Microsoft ML server is even more powerful. Okay. But I've just got the regular old, everyday, garden variety R open here, and I'm and, gonna show and, you. And we'll have a link down in the description below for where you can go grab this. Right, absolutely. Right. For R, it's free, download it, use it, tutorials, lots of stuff, fun language to learn, and I'm gonna show you how easy Great. it is. So okay. here we go. Here we um, go. First of all, uh, you can see here on the screen, I've got this this one word, Anscomba. Anscomba. That sounds that sounds mind blowing. No, you know what it is? I'll show you. Watch this. Okay. Control R. I run, and on the Ooh. right hand side, there's a series of sets of data. We've got data. I work with data. There you go. Built right okay. in. Built right, right in. We right. didn't have to load it. So think yep. you've loaded it from Excel or SQL Server sure. or the web or something sure. like that. Sure. All right. Now, Anscombe was this guy a long time ago. He was around when I was a kid, like in the 1800s. He invented this weird data set. No one really knows where he got it, but you can take a look here. We've got X values and Y values. So X1 is 10, X2 is 10, X3 is 10, X4 is 10. Then we got Y1, that's eight, and then nine, and then seven, and then six. Okay. And so these are a lot of numbers, and, and there's so many here that I can't really kind of put them all in yeah, my head. Yeah, so you know what? Let's just go get a couple of the libraries. I'm just going to go get statistics, regular old statistics, and I'm going to go get graphics. Ooh, and I I'm like graphics. Run that. Yeah, graphics are awesome. So that's all I've done there. Nothing's kind of like loading something. So that's done. It's almost, it's almost like we're going to start Star Wars in the R console. There you go. Okay. Now we can start playing out. Okay. We got our data, and we've got uh, some libraries to work with it. And there's a function called summary. It's part of stats. Okay. And it gives us the typical summary statistics that a data scientist, you know, smart guy like myself, would use to do these sorts of things. So let's tell it, and well, let's take a look at what we Ooh, got here. Right. Look how easy that was. The minimum is here, the first quartile, the max, and so on. The things that are really interesting is these means. See the means? Yeah. The 9. mean of, of X1 is 9, X2 is 9, Whoa. X3 is 9, Wait, but X4 is 9. Th the mean of Y1 is seven, five, seven, five, seven. Wait, I'm gonna, wait, wait. Those, those are all the same. They're all the same. So I'm going to tell you that these data sets look a lot to me. Okay. Like they're, like right now in my, you know, data scientist brain. Because yeah, you're thinking, a smart guy. A smart guy. Right. And I'm thinking, this stuff is all the same. This data, yeah. even though it looks varied, yeah, the same represents stuff. the same stuff. So. I got to make sure that's true, though. Okay. So I just do a few simple things. We're just going to do uh, 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 do a, a little bit of magic here. We call we call this this is the technical term magic. Magic. All right? Yeah, got magic. It. Got it. All right. Here we go. So we control R that one and 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 there we go. Oh, easy peasy. Now let's take a look at what we got here. Um, so we got some degrees of freedom here. The sums, the mins, the max, the squares, and again. These guys all look the same. Don't yeah. worry about what the numbers are. Right. They're looking the same. Yeah. And in fact, we've got some simple things we can do. We've got supply. Supply is like cross apply okay. in SQL. It's very okay. similar okay. to that. Okay, no big deal. I get that. And all I want to do is get the, the mods and the coefficients. And basically, right. this is just showing me how similar the data is. That's all. Okay. Let's do it. Okay. We come down here, control yep. R. 
Okay, good. We see the, do you remember the intercept and the slope from algebra? I do. Do you remember I, that? I, I the do line not. goes up like this and it and the X intercepts ah, the okay. Y. Remember that? I get that. I get well, that. Well look. Three, three. What's the same? Three, three. And the X's are the almost identical here. Yeah. Once again, I'm telling you as a data scientist that this is just these guys are exactly the same. You can trust me. I, I, I can, but maybe maybe there's a little more to this. Well, I mean, the numbers are right there, Adam. Why don't, why don't we throw, why don't we visualize this a little bit? Well, you can visualize in R. I mean, uh, you, I'll teach you how. You know, in Power BI Desktop, we can do the same thing. You can do R in Power BI? I can do R in Power BI. No, no, no. No, I, R I is R. Why can. Why don't we switch over here? Let me let me show you. There's a little uh, Power BI icon on the All bottom right, there. Let me go get Let's it. Let's go over this. Okay. We're gonna we're gonna teach Buck the clicks. Oh, look at this. Look, I've already got an R visual set up for you. If you look over on the visualization oh, side, there's I that see. nice little right R over icon. There is there, and then that's yeah, where it's it just at. creates okay. the visual, and you get this nice script editor. Okay. So Very cool. Why, why don't we just paste your script in there? and see what it does. You're saying I can just paste the R script that I just the did in here. The whole thing you just did, right. just paste well, it I'm in there. I'm going to add one thing though. Okay. I, I want to look at the visualization and I'm sure you have very nice graphics in here, but I, R's got built-in graphics. So I'm just going to paste that and will just it render the R stuff in the why, window? Why don't we find out, Buck? Why, why, don't, why don't you, uh, All right. so why don't you me, see what Power BI can do for you. Let me show you, let me, let me explain. Yep. Um, so what I'm going to do here is I'm going to set up some parameters you can see and yep. see the four I and one through four. That's just my data set. The Anscombe's thing yep. that we just did. Yep, yep. This is exactly the same script I had before. Yeah, it's exactly with, the same thing that you did. With one difference, I, I'm, I'm adding this plot. See the plot function right there? Yes. Um, that plot function, let me just double click it so you can see which one I'm talking about. It's just going to put things in red, orange, and so on, and, and things in blue, and, and give okay. it some titles. So and, it's, it's telling it like how to it's How like do, your graphics that you have in Power BI, but instead of setting properties, I'm doing it in the command. Okay. Is Cause, that? Yeah, because you don't necessarily know that our, our visuals are going to do what needs to be done, right? Right. Okay. And I, again, I just don't trust that. Okay. Well, let's just and run And we're it. just going to see it. Yeah, so there's a little it. run button over right on here. there. Okay, yep. good. Yep. I see it. I'm going to click run, run script. And okay, I've got something yep. wrong here. Okay. Hold on a minute. That's, uh, uh, let me see, which data sets am I? What no, that's the Anscombe data set. I am using. You know what I'm seeing. What, I, I know what you're seeing, Oh, Adam. okay. Don't, don't, okay, this, this, Mr. Looks data total, scientist. this looks totally different. Yeah. That's, you uh, know, it, it seems, it seems that, because, let me show you again. I just want you to, I can trust my numbers. There's yes. my numbers. They're nice and hard. They're, they're and they, the, they look the same. They look the same. But when we actually visualize it, it's a little different it's there. Little different. Actually, it's a it's, it's dramatically a dramatically different. different. Yeah, there's my slopes, and uh, and my intercepts. But wow, those lay out really different. Maybe maybe a picture is worth a thousand stats. There you go. <laughs> I don't know. I don't know. Well, you know what? I've I've learned something here today. I may I may have to start checking Power, out this. Power BI's R got a little bit of in stuff Power in there. Power BI, and you know, because we had the R engine installed, so that's what lets Power BI Desktop do. I so see. it's actually running the R engine. Oh, it's just running the R I as had. part of it, yeah. I see, well now so, that makes more yeah. sense. Now, now I actually used the plot features that are in R, but I would bet if I gave you this data set, you could do the same thing in Power BI, or maybe some smart may be, person Yeah, we could do that, could. so why don't we do this? If, if you guys can visualize, it, take this data and visualize it in something outside of the R visualization plotting techniques, why don't you let me know down in the comments below, show me some, maybe do a publish to web and let us see it. All right, well, if you know stats and R. And you've done some stats or R items inside of Power BI. Yeah, leave us some comments down in the bottom and let's check that out. Awesome. All right, guys, if you like this video, be sure to give it a big thumbs up, smash it if you so desire. If it's your first time here, hit that subscribe button. And as always from both Patrick and Adam and Buck, Thank you so much for watching, keep being awesome, and we'll see you in the next video.